This video features DC Comics Wonder Woman with fabulous females. After this introduction page, a chronological series of comic book covers with cover dates from the 1940s and 1950s versus those from 2010 to 2024 are presented. While the covers go by, information about Wonder Woman is provided. The information is not necessarily intended to correspond with the specific cover being shown at that time. Wonder Woman has made multiple appearances on TV, including the 1975 to 1979 Wonder Woman TV show starring Linda Carter as Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman has also made multiple appearances in movies, including multiple live action ones starring Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. In the near future, do you want a live action movie made about Wonder Woman and any other fabulous female? If so, are there any actresses that you want to have play Wonder Woman and that fabulous female? Wonder Woman, also known as Diana Prince, is a DC Comics female superhero. Wonder Woman's first appearance, but not on the cover, was in All-Star Comics No. 8, published October 21, 1941. This was at the beginning of the golden age of comic books, which was from 1938 to 1956. Her first feature was in Sensation Comics No. 1, cover dated January 1942, and she appeared on that cover. Later in 1942, she got her own series, starting with Wonder Woman No. 1. Unlike the damsels in distress that were common when she started, she was the opposite. Wonder Woman was created by the American psychologist and writer William Moulton Marston and artist Harry G. Peter. Marston's wife, Elizabeth, and their life partner, Olive Byrne, are credited as being his inspiration for the character's appearance. Marston lived from 1893 to 1947. He invented an early prototype of the lie detector and was known as a self-help author in addition to being the writer who created Wonder Woman. In 1940, in an interview conducted by his partner, Olive Byrne, that was published in the Family Circle, it was communicated that he saw great educational potential in comic books. The interview caught the attention of comics publisher Max Gaines, who hired Marston as a consultant. At that time, many of the superheroes were male, and Marston's wife, Elizabeth Holloway Marston, had the idea of creating a female superhero. Marston was given the go-ahead and developed Wonder Woman, basing her character on the unconventional, liberated, powerful, modern women of the day. He wanted to create a feminine character with all the strength of Superman, plus all the allure of a good and beautiful woman. Wonder Woman's origin story has changed over time, and what follows is one story. In her debut in All-Star Comics number 8, Diana was a member of a tribe of women called Amazons, native to Paradise Island, a secluded island set in the middle of a vast ocean. Captain Steve Trevor's plane crashes on the island, and he is nursed back to health by Diana, who falls in love with him. A competition is held amongst all the Amazons by Diana's mother, the Queen of the Amazons, and the winner is to return Captain Steve Trevor back to man's world. The Queen forbids Diana from entering the competition, but she takes part nonetheless, wearing a mask to conceal her identity. Diana wins the competition, and the Queen decides to let Diana go to man's world and gives her a special uniform for her new role as Wonder Woman, and she safely returns Steve Trevor to his home country. Wonder Woman had been sculpted from clay by her mother, the Queen, and was given life as an Amazon, along with superhuman powers as gifts by the Greek gods. She possesses an arsenal of magical items, including the lasso of truth, a pair of indestructible bracelets, and a tiara that can be used as a projectile. Having been created during World War II, she initially fights both Axis forces and various villains. When blending into the society outside of her homeland, she sometimes adopts her civilian identity, Diana Prince. For information about the video, see the video description section. Please like and subscribe.